truck. And we are on our maiden, maiden journey, maiden vo bon voyage in our RV. Why am I thinking of the three hour tour? No. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't think that Oh, way. that's Gilligan's. Oh, my tour. gosh. So, y'all. That was on a boat. We're in a <laughs> land yacht. Yeah. You better stay tuned. This journey can get crazy. All right, here we go. Stay tuned for more fun with Chuck and Debbie Show. in the back. Somebody's living like a queen. Hey, Ellie. Ellie. Okay, here we go. Cookie. There's a girl. Hi. Hi. You like it? Do you like riding with Mama and Dad? Huh? She's still adjusting. <laughs> this is the good part. Resting a little bit. And bumping around. <laughs> Leaving Dothan. They're detouring us off the highway. Let's see what's happening up there. Oh. That one don't look good. That's pretty bad wreck. Not too bad. Yeah, I see him. There. Oh, they're already towing him off. Yep. So we're on a side road detouring around. And that over there is 431. We are in some heavy, heavy rain. Chuck is doing a fantastic job driving the rig. He is absolutely nailing it. Proud of him. Very proud. We are in Eufaula, Alabama. And it is a mess outside. The weather radios are going, and there's the camera for out our backside, car behind us there. You can just see the water flying. <laughs> oh, it's awful. A lot of water on the roads coming through town. We're on a beautiful state highway, 85 highway in Georgia. Look at that view and coming up ahead at Pine Mountain area. We're heading toward Manchester, going up to Sonoy. This is absolutely beautiful right now. So much to see. We've been in a lot of storms today driving, but after a storm, it's gorgeous. Look at the sunset over there. Oh, beautiful. Oh, what a view. It's just beautiful up here. 
are near Roosevelt State Park and we're in Manchester. When we used to live up here in Fayetteville, I came down to Manchester, Chuck drove me, and did a photo shoot at the high school. And when we were leaving, Chuck was waiting in the car for me. I came down the steps of the school and I fell right off of him and I broke two bones in my, my leg. And I will never forget how my body went into shock and how much I hurt. It was horrible. It was horrible. But it was in this little town. And we lived in Fayetteville, which is about, oh, maybe an hour at the most home, you know. And uh, we drove all the way back home with me in shock. And rather than go to the hospital at midnight, we slept at home. And the next day, when Chuck was able to drive me, we went on to the hospital. Look at the flags out for Memorial Day. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Railroad tracks down there. Look ahead. Isn't this gorgeous? In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Georgia 85 North, Washington Street. Please ignore our little girl telling us where to go, even though we know. We're just leaving it on for the ETA to know when we'll get there. Turn right onto Georgia 85 North, Washington Street. <laughs> Follow the signs. Oh, this is lovely. Look at the caboose out there. So beautiful. Take the second right onto Foster Street, States for 85. Well, yes, we will, ma'am. Yes, we will. <laughs> In a quarter mile, turn left onto Georgia 85 North, Washington Street. <laughs> We usually take that spur back there, but this time we decided to go this way and just have a good old time. Sorry for the bad filming here. I was trying to get everything. I love these little towns. Just love them. Okay, so uh, we've arrived and parked and set at our daughter's house. And look, it is so sweet. They put out the camping lights for us. They're always there. This is a full time year. You did this for us. us. So how this much is a resort. How much are you charging us for this camp spot? Ninety nine a night. Three twenty five for a bag of ice and dollar sixty seven for every gallon of water. Other campers might be showing up with those prices. <laughs> you might be in business. <laughs> so this is our first night in the RV, and look who's in the upper bunk. Are there two children up there? Yes. Let me see you. Who are they? Who's up there? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Are you awake? Where'd you go? Look at my girl. The little guy's going to bed in the house, but we get the two little monster kids out here with us to have fun. <laughs> it's an RV party. <laughs> Don't pull on the curtain, baby. Good thing you didn't bring Cousin Eddie. He stayed home. Who's Cousin Eddie? Cousin Eddie? Yeah. Oh. Okay, tell him the Cousin Eddie story. Oh, well, that was good. Chuck and Debbie show reality. Reality <laughs> <to be> check. <laughs> Haley made hers first in line. So you've made your bed already? Haley, tell him. Ellie, tell Haley good morning. Good morning. Say good morning. Oh, she's so happy. Look at her. She there's loves you guys. She, there's more tiny dogs. I know. There's one tiny dog that also likes me. <laughs> What and is it? His name is Indy. Indy, oh. It's a yeah, tiny. Indy's um, definitely bigger than Ellie. I bet. I know. Very big. And they, there's another Indy's, one. Indy's the same dog as Phoenix. Yeah. And, but he's a different color. Yeah. Yeah.
What do you got, buddy? What do you got, Logan? Awesome. Can you help Wes? Okay. Really? <laughs> okay. Here, here we go. That's bad filming, but that's the only way I can flip it. Hi. No, don't kiss. You sit still. Girl. There she is. Good girl. Oh, that hurt. Okay, stop. Stop. You're heavy. No, no, no. You're heavy. She sees Ellie in that bag, and she's just determined. Why is she in that bag, she says. <laughs> hey. She's sitting at Ellie. <laughs> she's like, what is in that bag? I'm scared. You need to send this one to Grandma Pat. She wants Ellie so bad. <laughs> oh, she looks so pretty. Her little bandana. Song. The get no, that's wrong verse. Missy's writing a song about her dog. Evidently, that creature right there drinks out of the toilet. <laughs> Looks like a polar bear. <laughs> no, play a song. We got a new Strumming great, Mom. He's a good strummer. Logan, can you sing while Weston plays? Sing a song. I love it. Good job. Can you help Logan get that one? La, 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 la. Sing it, Logan. La, 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 la. Sing to me, Mom. 
Oh, I'm loving this. They got it going on. I'm telling you. Come look at the plate over there. Okay. This is the. That's how it came out of the box right there. Just like this. What? What's that? Right, mom. That's it. That's how it came out of the box. And I said, "What is that?" And she said. A chair. <laughs> chair. This might be the grand. Here we go. You think you have a Chuck and Debbie show? I think you need a Jonathan and Mrs. Show. I think y'all need one. You bet. It's not that complicated. Do this when you get to church and you're trying to keep the kids wrangled up an outside parking lot, properly social distanced. I've you know, never even seen a chair like that. That's what's even funnier. <laughs> it looks like a tripod. A horsey. <laughs> he's, he's determined that he made a good buy. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. How much did this cost? <laughs> Please don't tell me it cost more than $5. <laughs> okay. What'd you pay for it, John? <laughs> $2? What'd you say? The price, price of, of a chair. chair. Price of a chair. $22.95. It's quite a broad range of prices you're talking about. I would about. take it back if I paid that much. We're taking it back. <laughs> We're just going to go get a regular right. folding camping me, chair please, this is at right. Hometown Hardware. Okay, let him do it. Here he goes. Bags are used for baseball. This one or this one? Hey, Nina. Yes, doll. You can bring her out here in her bag. Leave her in the bag right now. And then I'll work on the leash stuff with her. This one or the I don't know. I put one on Bless you. COVID. That's it. We're all infected. I'm watching Dad right now. Turn around and get some good giggles. How many times are you going to try this? <laughs> Turn this over. <laughs> Can we just back the van up to the... Um, Tailgate. They have the people who are sitting in lawn chairs parked really far away. And then the people who are sitting and watching church from inside the car parked up close. Well, Ready, Poppy? To, like, morph it. He's out there. Sit in our car with the car open. Yep. Where's she at? Right there? Okay. What did you do before and you messed it up? She didn't do anything different than you're doing. I gave it to you the way it came out of the box. Logan, stop. Logan, you're going to hurt Daddy. No. Now you need to fold it back up, put it back in the box, and take it back to Costco. Costco sold that? Yeah, they don't usually sell bad stuff. I'm sorry. This is not easier. We're going to do a t YouTube review of the chair. It's called the Cascade Mountain something. Tech. Cascade okay. Mountain Tech. Do a review, both of you. One to, to five stars, what would you give it? Negative five. Well, it's comfortable to sit in. It, well, it, it supposedly seems comfortable. I like the material. It is very durable. Oh. I do like how it folds up to a very compact, portable size. Okay. But it might take you all day just to set it up. That was just not right. Happy? No, because that's one of your main pillar posts. If it takes this much work and con and conference just to try to put your set up your chair to relax, 
You obviously need a chair to relax after you set it up. Once You're going it's, to be plenty exhausted to sit under that shade tree. Does it fold up once it's put together to haul it? No, you take it apart like this. Every single time you put it away, you got to... Every single time you want to sit in your chair, you have to do it. If you'd like this to count towards your daily workout, go ahead and purchase it. This is the best thing ever. Now let's try. And I bet if we actually put in the bottom first, it would work. And this is something. Now, now, but tell me if if if, if this works, the next time we set it up, how do we know? If Logan, we're gonna you're going to get hurt. Is it going to take this long to set it up again next time? No, get better. Logan, come here. Quit, quit playing with the doors. You're going to get hurt. Okay? You go play with your own toy cars. Yeah, well, you spilled Mommy's drink. Huh? I'd rather just have the kind that folds up. Folds out. Folds well, up. We didn't have them at Folds out. Well, we can just go. Dollar General or your little hardware. Or and go to the hardware store. Shop local. Buy local. Is that the end of the review? It might just be a defect. I think so. Can you pick it apart? Yeah, you just do this. That's it? No. Yeah. Don't forget the Velcro strap. <laughs> What you got, Logan? Oh, yeah, the ball. Get in line. Good job. Hey, all right. <laughs> Here he comes. Okay, where's you? 
One, two, three, four. Oh, <laughs> you and Mother are in jail together. What did you do? Well, what's it is us. How do I get out of jail? I don't know. Okay, I got a seven, and I'm a thimble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> Give me a card. Advance to Illinois. Wait. I see I have Illinois. Illinois is right here. I think Harry owns Illinois. Oh, how much do I owe you? Rent goes on the bottom. $20. $20. What? $20. Oh, my word, you're expensive. Goodness gracious. $20. Oh, you thank you very much, ma'am. <laughs> Poppy got a 10. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Draw a card, pups. These are frosted Cheerios. Oh, yummy. But that's not a commercial. That pays no. me a dividend of $50. Well, he just got $50 from the bank, you guys. A dividend for what? It never clarifies. It's nothing but a political ripoff. All right, Weston. <laughs> What do you got? George. What is that? Tree. tree? Is that a tree? Are you going to eat it? <gasps> Don't eat the tree. Oh, no, you ate a tree. A George H.W. Bush. Are you eating a tree? He hated broccoli so bad, he banned it from the I White know. House. Look at you. Oh, Look at you. Yeah. That's you. Is it good? A shoe. Shoe? Your shoe's okay. No. And he puffed and he blew the house in. <laughs> the straw house looked wonderful, but it was extremely weak. That's because Poppy didn't build it. So it fell down and the big wolf, wolf gobbled up the first little pig. Meanwhile, the second and third little pig had continued to walk down the lane to the brickyard. Then they came across another farm. Well, this was an apple farm. An apple farm? And the farmer was busy chopping down the branches of the apple tree. An enormous pile of sticks lay on the ground next to the farmer. Well, the second of the three little pigs thought, by golly, I got it. I'll make my own house out of sticks. It'll save my tired legs from walking further and further in my house and it'll be built faster. So, the second little pig said to the farmer, I'd like to have an enormous pile of bricks, and, I mean, not bricks. Sticks. Sticks, kind sir, I will use it to build my house. The farmer who was looking way to get rid of his sticks said okay so he gave the second little pig all the sticks and the pig builder stick house the house looked great there's not a single stick out of place and the little pig was very happy well guess what the big bad wolf fresh from gobbling up the first little pig walked up to the stick house knocked on the door and said in a low gruff voice Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Got by the hair of my chinny chin chin, replied the second little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow, 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 blow your house in. <laughs> That's what the big bad wolf said. Without delay, the big bad wolf took a huge breath in. <laughs> <laughs> then he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. The stick house looked great, but it was too weak. It fell down in an instant and the big bad wolf gobbled up the second little pig.
Probably it flashed. Probably blame me for it. It didn't flash. It was that light bouncing off my screen. I don't know. I'm trying to find music, but Poppy better not toot. I promise you, it's not me. Oh, now I see it in the mirror. What? I see your phone <laughs> in the mirror while you're looking at me. What phone? Oh, I love you. Night, night. So, Poppy is out helping move yard furniture and toys for the kids and Missy and Jonathan. And they're deciding how it's all going to fit and where it's going to fit. And we're staying inside very safe and sound away from that while we color. This is Haley's page. This is Mima's page. Where is Weston's page? You've done a lot of them. Look at you. Do you like oh, it? yes. Let me. Well, he gets his. Haley, that is just beautiful. Good job. And I'll finish mine here in just a minute. Oh, there's Weston's. Oh, my word, it's beautiful. You did so good. Weston, way to go. Good job, bud. Good job. While we're safe and sound in here, there's a story behind that swing. Jonathan built it with the help of a friend when he proposed to Missy and asked her to marry him, that's the swing he carried to Wakulla Springs and set up in a gazebo. And she did not know he built it. And when they got to Wakulla Springs, they were taking a walk, and he said, why don't we sit in the gazebo? And when they sat down in the gazebo, she didn't know we were hiding in the bushes. And I took pictures and Jonathan got down on one knee and asked Missy to marry him in that gazebo with that swing right there. And then when she said yes, she saw us and screamed, Daddy, he proposed! And she didn't know we already knew because Jonathan asked Poppy Chuck, Do you care if I ask your daughter to marry me? And Poppy said yes and never asked my, my permission. It didn't matter what Mima thought, only Poppy. Now, is that right? Oh, I don't think so either. Why do men do that? They don't ask the woman anything. Silly gooses. So there we go. And he had me two years later. That's right. And then Weston came how many more years? Three. Yep. He's five and you're eight. And then Logan came wherever Logan is. Three years after. Three years later. Oh, that's he's right. Out there. He's in daddy's arms. So that's the rest of the story of the swing. Our fiddle songs. For Memorial Day weekend, Sonoy, Georgia has a beautiful display of the flags. Today is Memorial Day. Wow, that's gorgeous.
gorgeous. What a tribute. Who's in my camper? You'll get to see him on the way. Welcome to the Chuck and Debbie Show, family. We've got three at that table buckled in. Buckled in. Poppy's tired. He's worked hard, but he has done a great job today. And I secured the kitchen and the bathroom and bedroom. There she is. There's old Haley Wiley. Soap's still out. Okay. Good job, sis. Good, good catch. So we're taking the kids on a special treat before we go home. They wanted to ride in the RV, so we're going somewhere very special. It'll be on the next scene of our show. Y'all stay tuned and get ready. So, what is this called, Haley? Can you read the sign to us? Red Oak Creek Cover Bridge. Red Oak Creek Covered Bridge. Wow, let's read it here. This bridge was built in the 1840s. 
by freed slave and noted bridge builder Horace King. Wow, he worked really hard on this, didn't he? Really hard. Wowzers. There is no bats. The river is beautiful, or creek, Red Oak Creek. This is awesome. Awesome. Now, where are we at? What are we doing? Talk to me. Hello. Hi. Nemo's a moose. Look at her antlers. What? Takes to get the picture of that. Right, Weston, look. Pretty? Is that pretty? I love it. What you see, Logue? Huh? Beautiful. You'll get wet. We're not going to get wet there. <laughs> so we're in Eufaula, Alabama, heading south to Florida, going home. And we remember the days that we lived in Atlanta and everybody drives from the beach to Atlanta on a holiday. Well, guess what? Some things never change. Your social distancing is all going north now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, it's bumper to bumper the whole way through I this like town. The distance. One end to the other. <laughs> we can have the social and the, and the keep the distance. I'm so happy we moved back to Florida and we can go opposite the traffic now on holidays. <laughs> what a mess. Oh, mercy me. Well, it's been a wonderful weekend so far, and it's a beautiful ride home for us, but oh my word, look at the people. <laughs> Get some pictures. This is amazing. <laughs> so that's what's been out on the beaches. Look at it, folks. Look at it, folks. Golly. just all the way through you follow one end to the other non-stop looks like the strip remember the old days well, I remember we took a, a side road oh we learned the bat we learned to go a block over and yeah. go around them all but we're not going to give that secret away are we no <laughs> No, we're not going to tell everybody about a side road that takes a block you all the way over up the from the highway yeah. that goes through town behind everywhere. No, don't yeah. tell us all. Yeah, we're not telling anybody about a <laughs> shortcut. We don't need it anymore, do we? No. Praise God above. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh, mercy me. Look at this. Still just bumper to bumper. Oh, y'all, I don't miss that a bit. Well, you don't wait till checkout time to leave. Huh? No, Let you me. leave early, early, or late, late at night.
Forrest Dump. It's been a wonderful trip. We're almost home. We're halfway there. Boy, the skies are beautiful and it's getting ready to rain. We've been in rain off and on. But our first excursion and now we're coming back in to Florida. Home sweet home. We made it back to the state. How about that, Poppy? Yeah, hallelujah. hallelujah. What a wonderful trip for our first time taking the RV out. It's just been wonderful. Absolutely. I'm proud. Old Chuck knows so much about it and what to do, and it makes me proud. Because I couldn't do everything. That's for certain. <laughs> You know what you're doing. He even dumped the tank. <laughs> hey. Yep. And that's a good idea. It's a darn good idea. <laughs> and it's free in Eufaula at the rest area. Yep. So we pulled in there and emptied that tank. Dump that tank. Dump that tank. There's our next song. Dump that tank. <laughs> and little Miss Pris on my lap. Look at her in a blankie. She's snoozing. She, <laughs> she's oh, there's the cattle. She's had a good trip with the kids, but she stayed in her bag too. Sometimes she gets nervous, but I'm sure tickled. It's just been a glorious time together. I'm so happy. So when we get home, we'll clean her up and empty her out. And then she's going to go back out again in a couple of weeks. So we'll just get her ready for that, won't we? Well, well we made it. Our first journey. Yeah. We're home. We're safe. We've loaded everything in the pickup from the RV and leaving it at another parking spot until we get the house ready for it at home. You done, you done a great job. You did a beautiful job. Let's make sure she looks all locked up. Everything look good? Yeah. We are home safe and sound. She's parked back there and we loaded everything to take to our house in here. And what a journey. What a journey. I'm so, so fun, so excited, so proud of you and driving and putting things together, the hoses, the electric, the sewage, the water, the, you know, everything. It was a blast. It was a 500, a little over 500 mile trip. Yeah, which is really short, but it was a good weekend for Memorial Day. And we enjoyed our grandbabies. We hadn't seen them in, gosh, two months, two and a half months. So it was wonderful to be with the grandkids in, and our daughter and her husband. But anyways, it's wonderful to be home too. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I'm ready to go there again, but it's gonna be a while. So, I think we'll take back out in two weeks. Be here before you know it. It will be here before we know it, and we'll have we'll another be good trip. prepared next time. So, he named her, if you didn't catch on, She's named the 40th Wind in honor of our 40th anniversary. So here we go. Here's to 40 more. Love you, dear. Love you too, dear. Y'all stay tuned for more adventures from Debbie and Chuck from the Chuck and Debbie Show. We'll see you later. <laughs>